good afternoon to everybody in the audience. Um, I think there's several things that are different about this set of goals from, from what you've, uh, you've seen before. And before, of course, you've seen the Millennium Development Goals. One important difference is that this set of goals is global. So it applies to India as much as it applies to the United States, to France, to Brazil, to Russia, to China. Um, frankly, if you think about it, it is the first and so far the only global agreement that the entire world has signed up to in equal measure. Before, it was the North talking to the South. Right now, it's a dialogue on the planet. And that's an important distinction not to be underestimated. The second is um, many people, including I think many of you in the audience, would say, oh, 17 goals, my goodness, you know, this is impossible, and 169 targets. Well, before you, you jump to conclusions, um, first of all, these 17 goals by, were established by all the governments of the world, and India actually had a very, very active role in this. And we're not just talking about governments. Because in the My World campaign over the last three years, tens of millions of people took part in how these goals are going to be written up. So it's not the UN telling countries that these are the 17 most important ones. It's not even the governments telling the world that these are the 17 most important ones. It's many of you together with governments and civil society bringing it to the center stage. Um, last but not least, when you think of 17, don't get confused with the number. Because if you divide them in, in groups of six, the first six, the second six, and then uh, the remainder, you will see that the first six actually talk about the unfinished agenda of the MDGs, the Millennium Development Goals. And think of this in three words, social, economic, and sustainable. So the first six are about the social. The second six are about the economic. And it was this six that the developing countries, frequently led by India, argued in favor of because they were saying, well, you know, some countries are already ahead of us, so give the developing world a chance to catch up. So we can't just ca uh, cut um, our development path because uh, of unsustainability. And here's where the discussion about the um, shared but distinguished responsibility comes about. And then you have the last three goals, which are all about the sustainability. This is about climate, this is about the planet, this is about the seas, the oceans, the earth. And then the last goal is about the partnerships. And here, India is playing quite a, a, an important role because it is raising three hugely important issues on the planet today. The first one is the change in global governance. And it is, again, let's stop the dialogue of North speaking to the South, right? Let's have an equal partnership, including in the UN, in the IMF, and the Bretton Woods institutions everywhere. We are equal partners, and India, frankly, represents, you know, a fifth of humanity, so it, it, it should be equal, if, if, if not more. Um, secondly, India is saying, well, if you expect us to deliver these goals with domestic resources, then how about the um, transfer of resources between countries that are frequently illicit, right? Whether they're white, black, or gray. And last but not least, India is saying, what about technology? Where's the technology transfer if we are to deliver these 17 goals? And I think these three principal questions are going to be very, very big on the agenda. I want to ask you, what do you see as the most ideal use of social media in achieving the goals that are set out? I don't know how to answer that question. I have a 26-year-old daughter who is a vice president of a digital company. and. She tells me that we are still at the ground level of exploring what social media can do. Um, I think you're absolutely right. It can do both. It can promote armchair, uh, but it can also do a lot of social good. Look, we're, we're, we're experimenting. I mean, social media is now used um, in crisis situations to actually find people um, under rubble and so they can be reached and, and saved in a matter of, of hours. Um, you have um, people mobilizing through social media to buy an old man a uh, typewriter or to go out on the street and protest against something that is, that is unjust. Um, I've used so uh, social media to disseminate to millions of people information about how they can save money by better energy use. And this was energy efficiency for residential customers. So I think we're just 
dabbling and experimenting with what this thing can do, both good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's quite a lot of good that can be harnessed um, for development, for business, for entrepreneurship, um, for social engagement and social mobilization. Yeah. Um, but we also need to be careful about the darker side um, because there is a darker side. Uh, a significant part of the MDGs were actually achieved, right? Now, we can make a caveat that the biggest impact was made by China and India together, right? Many countries did not meet those goals um, or met only some isolated ones. So the agenda still needs to be completed. Um, yes, there is a certain rollover to the SDGs, especially on the first six that I described as the social goals. But frankly, look, it's not bad. Um, the SDGs are not a prescription because they're not obligatory. They are a way to advocate and to focus humanity in one direction, right? Look, if we set the goal to eliminate poverty by 2030 and only reach it by 90%, I don't think we'll be disappointed, right? Because we would have eliminated half of the world's poverty. So I, I, I don't think you should read it like that personally. Um, I think the MDGs had an incredible impact. They did not solve the issues. They did not necessarily eliminate poverty. But they certainly helped the f world focus in the right direction. So l let me explain it like that because I don't think we should be looking at what we have today on the table as a roadmap that you know, every year we need to make sure that we've met every single target. I mean, it would be great if we did. But frankly, I don't think we should be perceiving the SDGs as that kind of tool.